I'm LP Master 6 and welcome back to, you guessed it, the second half of Donkey Kong Land 3 for Game Boy. We are going to get started here and let's get some color in the picture. Now last time I noticed something, especially while editing. Ooh, Jungle Jeopardy. I wonder if Alex Trebek is in this level. <laughs> Laugh track moment. Actually, no, wait, he's dead. Uh, so whoever's replacing him, I haven't heard yet. I've never really watched Jeopardy. Maybe a few minutes while it's on at somebody's house, but my parents, uh, my mom always goes, ugh, Jeopardy, and turns it off. Because they love Wheel of Fortune, but they hate Jeopardy. But anyway, the thing I noticed is uh, this game is visually and gameplay-wise boring. Like... This is the most boring of the... Hello? Is it down here? Okay. Whew! It's the most boring of the rare Donkey Kong games so far. Like, this color palette? Boring. The graphics look good, but... I feel like all the improvements to everything over the Land Trilogy has made it so that the Land Trilogy just makes me want to play... The console games, you know, there's not enough different in this game. I mean, the level designs are different. They're just not as revolutionary as the console games or even the first two Land games. While Land 2 didn't really offer anything new to put on the table, I feel like its level designs were just inherently more interesting. It's like they were bored making this one. Like, it doesn't really challenge anything. It's fun. It feels like weird Game Boy DLC, but even Land 2 didn't feel that way. And also, I know it's partially because we're playing this on an emulator and we don't have the novelty of the Game Boy player, but I I can't be the only one who feels like this is more boring than Land 2, right? Even visually. I don't know why, because this looks better. Oh well. It's got to be just because we're emulating it, so, you know, I'm used to playing games on my computer that look a little better than this. Again, I don't really care about visuals. I'm just saying, you know, trying to see everything from all sides. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I guess we're just supposed to... Oh, okay, we're not fast enough. Can we do the thing? No, he's... Huh. Okay. Damn. I will figure... Oh, yeah, I was supposed to let you listen to this song, but instead I ranted the entire level. I think we missed a bonus anyway, right? So, I guess it's cool. What? Huh? <laughs> Oh, the cats are zooming outside the door. I'm stumped. Maybe I'll kill this guy and like... Am I supposed to take it all the way back here and throw it? I don't think I can catch up with a steel barrel. What am I missing? Oh, I'm glad they are finally making it tricky. Just as I say the game's boring, in the second half here, we're getting some interesting stuff. Oh, cat interruption already. Oh, I was going to let you listen to the song because a loop just started over, but oh well. I guess not. Ugh. Okay, that's clearly not... Am I going to have to look this up? The cats were all asleep right before I did this. All asleep, except for like two of them. And now they're all up at my door. I'm so pissed. And I don't know what to do here. Because you can't do that move from the last game where you just throw it up and it slowly rolls. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Duh! Okay, if you can't slowly roll it, ricocheting it would be the way to go. But we didn't get the second bonus, did we? No. Okay. I will meet you back. 
Yeah, I just had to see if that innocuous pit had something in it. Okay, I did have to look it up. Oh, okay. I guess that was kind of telegraphed because there was a banana in the corner. Also, in looking it up, I found out there is... Uh, I think it looks like a browser game or a mobile game. Oh, hello. Ice platforms? Okay, cool. Oh. Uh, that was very strangely designed. You'd think they would have the ice platforms with no bazooka guy. And then have it with a bazooka guy. And then have the ending there. But okay. I won't complain. Footloose Falls is not going to be a water level. Yeah, it's gonna be one of these. Oh, how perfect that bonus game was training us. Also, finally we get Ellie, who can, in fact, shoot infinite water. Can she suck up water? No, because she shoots infinite water. She has been dumbed down quite a bit, and that's why she doesn't show up until the second half of the game, or as much. According to Mario Wiki, I did look it up while editing. But infinite water is pretty nice. I'm not going to complain. And she is, uh, I think, better than Rambi in this game. She isn't scared of the Neeks. Uh, those are the enemy names, right? Either way, that automatically makes her more useful, I guess. She couldn't charge before or anything. Oh, oops. <laughs> but... I mean, she can kill enemies without stomping on them, just with a little infinite projectile. I guess kind of like Squawks, but controlling better. It feels like Ellie controls better than the Kongs do in this game, actually. Huh. Also, like everybody else, she looks pretty good, because she uses the same exact sprites from, you know, the console games. Oh, bye Ellie. That was fun. I enjoyed having her around. She only appears in like two levels in the game, I think. If I remember correctly. Okay, we almost died there, I bet. Or at least had to redo several minutes of a level. Oh, level, this level, this is the exact one. Second death of the video? I guess we're redoing that whole thing and you're gonna watch me do it. Speaking of, I've been needing to cut out more. Because my god, re-watching my old videos and editing my new ones, I'm like, I did so much talking, but I can't really cut a lot of it out. So I need to learn to start cutting earlier, I feel like. But also, I like re-showing levels after you die, because I always get confused whenever videos only show a level once. And it's like, if they keep dying, I only see the part they are dying at over and over. So, I try to show the whole level without cutting up until three deaths on average. You know, sometimes I'll do two if I die, like, right at the end. Or, um, you know, do more if I die right at the beginning. But, of course, that doesn't matter because I always cut back in uh, wherever it is that I died. But I do need to cut more. And again, when I say this game is boring, it's not really a complaint. You know, it's boring in comparison. Which is fine, because the other games are just phenomenal. I just feel like with that last level, backtracking through that to um, try to get the second bonus and I couldn't find it, it was just take out the area with ropes, conveyor ropes above it. And then you've just got a little walkway with the occasional enemy, and that was it. So, oh god. Ooh, this better be a bonus. Ooh, yeah, buddy! Ooh, that's a buddy barrel. Uh, I also got a message while I was looking that up. Oh, okay, we're wasting time. I'm gonna assume... Oh, no, it's collect the stars. I need to start paying attention. Because this game actually makes you, like, think as to whether it's a collect the stars or a find the token or a bash the baddies which is something I'll give it credit for but I got a message saying that Jerry is coming over to get some tools presumably from the shop uh, outside that we keep unlocked because we don't have a key for it 
Uh, they lost the key after... Uh, what the fuck? Where's a fucking DK barrel? Have we still not gotten the checkpoint? Okay, I'll see you back. Okay, we're back here. To the left is where I found that uh, bonus. Hopping over all the breakable, presumably, ice platforms. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, here is that arrow again, where to the left I found all those platforms. But, um, so they, after my wife's grandfather died, and he was the previous owner of the house, uh, they seem to have lost the key, so we just keep the entire shop unlocked. The door is locked, but the actual, like, garage door to it is not locked at all. We let our friend David uh, use that as an art studio, and it still has a ton of unorganized tools in it. I never use it for anything except for storing our um, extra kind of run-down appliances. So people can do with that whatever they want. Uh, ooh, but I got up and shut and latched all the doors. Ah, copters. Oh, but he killed himself. Oh, they're dying when they reach the bottom. Oh, but they're respawning. Oh, God, it's raining copters. My least favorite enemy in the extended Mario universe. I gotta get out of here. Not an eminent all the way to a registered charity. All I need is a pint a day. I feel like... No, I wanted to roll off of it. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, please. Whew. This is really Footloose. Can we play Footloose? I'm not actually going to play Footloose because then, you know, I'll get demonetized. It's funny because I have 200 subscribers. I'm not monetized at all. I was on my way to monetization until they up the requirement for monetization. And I can't blame them because who wants to deal with like paying people eight cents, you know, like a year before they really get traction. I've been doing this for, what, seven years? Yeah. We are on the seventh and I can't do that math. Yes, seventh anniversary of the channel, and... Where was I going with that? Oh well, new subject. Um, also, I kept calling the bounty f bass bounty fish, and it was really pissing me off in editing, so I wanted to clarify. Also... The Ramby, or not Ramby, the Rattly token, when I said that was still in the game, I was talking about that thing in the lower right corner that's there right now that pops up when an animal buddy is there. That is still intact in the game. You know, uh, whereas his actual field sprites are not. Come on, don't even give me that. I would say this constantly. I need some new catchphrases, Jesus. All right, moving along. I actually had a bunch of notes for my unfinished thoughts. I wrote down all these notes because I didn't finish a lot of sentences. Most importantly, I started to give a shout out to CC Catmaster. Damn it, I still forgot the last part of your name. I'm sorry. But uh, back in... Uh, and then I got sidetracked talking about how I forgot the last part of the name. And then I forgot to finish the shout out. God damn it. Yep, making you watch it again. I'm sorry. The levels are getting longer, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But, um, I'm tense. I never finished the... Th whatever. <laughs> We're done with that. About uh, how I shut all the doors because I didn't want Jerry to know I was here and come talk to me while I was recording because I have limited time to do this because we're having a movie night later but I also have to get my friend David to pick me up so we and Grant can go help my parents move a water mattress out of their room because it's very heavy and takes a lot of people. But anyway, the shout out is because on Excite Bike Mario Battle, my last Let's Play of last year, uh, in a deleted comment, uh, CC Catmaster guessed that the next Let's Play was going to be Donkey Kong Land 3. And I've never had anybody try to guess the Let's Play before. I was very happy because uh, I've always wanted somebody to do that, but nobody has cared enough to do it. 
And um, my guess is that you looked at the release window for North America instead of overall combining all the release dates, which is what I do. So then I did Game & Watch Gallery 2, which came out way later in the West. So then you guessed Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Not sure where that guess came from, but I think I threw you off. But you guessed that Super Mario Bros. Deluxe would be what I'm Let's Playing now, when it's in fact your original guess of Donkey Kong Land 3. So, I just wanted to say again, very much appreciated that you guessed. Whew. I always appreciate engagement. Alright. Beautiful. Alright, it wants me to fall down here, so I guess I- Oh! I'm glad I did! That felt good. Whew. Alright. And I never talked about my- I'm very sad. I never talked about my experience with the game. I talked about how, um... Like, I got a cartridge, but the cartridge has failed me. Oh no, I didn't give it time to respawn. Oh my god. <laughs> Na, 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 na. Let's get some water. Mm. <clears throat> that was some good water. That was Delecta Bear. <sighs> Even though it's Nestle Pure Life, I think. Yeah, that's a Nestle Pure Life bottle. I could tell by the taste, but I didn't want to feel stupid. This is immensely frustrating. Um. Uh. Okay, you really have to hold left there. Okay. That's all it is. I'm glad. That's very good. Th that's very good. You need to come up with more interesting commentary. I feel like the more interesting the game is, the better my commentary is. And this game's not that interesting, so I'm really struggling to come up with good conversation. I'm excited for movie night with David and Grant and maybe other friends, Alex and Travis. But they don't often show up, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. Oh, finally, a water level again. Oh, what is that smell? I think a cat farted outside the door or something. I don't know what that is. It's not very strong, but I can smell it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's not a gas leak. Uh, my wife kept insisting there was a gas leak a good few months ago. So we uh, had the gas company come and they had to do a bunch of like stuff that looked very obnoxious. And they were like, nope, no gas leak, bye. I mean, they were nice about it, but still, we kind of wasted their day. Because I called and was like, can I make an appointment to check out the gas leak? And they're like, no. This is now legally an emergency. We're coming right now. And I was like, oh, why? Can I take it back? I'm trying to leave for work. Uh, so I was a little late and I was rather annoyed. But at least we found out there was no gas leak. I didn't think there was, but it's better safe than sorry. Because that is what the uh, gas company said. Hold on, we had a branching path. Okay, I'm gonna go back. There's the bounty bass that apparently do not give you anything in this game, at least thus far. Mm. But I first played this game when I played through all three of these games in about 2019, maybe early 2020. But um, I had a cartridge of Land 2 and that was the only cartridge I had for the series. So I emulated Land 1 and use save states because I was extremely frustrated. Very ashamed of that because I can beat it no problem now. I don't know what was wrong with me back then, but uh... Where's this gonna... Is this gonna spawn on the bottom? We're missing two. Oh, okay. I'm gonna... Yep. Beautiful. I know how to predict the game well. Oh! Hormel chili face! Okay. So, sorry, I paused to collect my thoughts and drink more delicious water. You know, I really hate Nestle water, but the pure life has really grown on me. You know, because sometimes it's it's all they have at the store. You know, at Walmart, That well, okay, that's the cheapest, you know, because I'm obviously going to get the cheapest water. I don't care that much about my water brands 
Except I will not get spring water. Spring water is disgusting. Alright, I think everybody can agree with that and everybody knows that. Okay, if there was a down arrow, I'm obviously not going to go down. Oh, I forgot the coin. Yes, yes, yes. See, we haven't had a water level in so long that... I forgot how it works, how all the mechanics work. That's football shape. That's perfect because the Super Bowl was two days ago. Today is February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. So everybody please comment how you like the Super Bowl. I made $328 uh, at work on the Super Bowl. And tomorrow, Valentine's Day will be exciting. Tell me how your Valentine's Day went. We're going to see uh, Wonka in the theaters. And I forgot what else we're doing. Oh, we're going to eat at a vegan restaurant. And I think that was all she had planned. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a nice simple day. Last year we stayed home. Actually, we had to. We got snowed in. But we planned on it anyway. I'm sorry. I cannot stay on one track. Uh, I... My cartridge of Land 2 also kept crashing, so I had to give up on beating Land 1 and 2. But then I completed, fully completed Land 3, and I had a good time with it. Of course, I was playing the remake. This is my first time fully playing the original version. Not that there's that many differences, obviously, but... <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Because I wouldn't have noticed any of the differences because it's been a few years. Okay, uh, if I hadn't read about them beforehand. But it's funny because I fully completed Country 1 and 2, but not Country 3 because my save data for the GBA version, uh, which I was also emulating, uh, because I didn't know it existed as a kid. I didn't know Country 2 existed, so I didn't have cartridges of either at the time. Uh, yeah, I lost my save data, so I only got about 60% of the way through the game. So it was weird, I 100%ed Country 1 and 2 and then Land 3, so that's really my full experience. I really wanted to kill one and I just didn't time it well at all. <laughs> oh, but it's going to feel so good to have On Guard again. I don't know why. Okay, great. Awesome. Alright, the emulator's doing that thing where it thinks you're holding up the whole time, so I'll be right back. Okay, I fixed it by reconfiguring the controller to the exact same settings. No matter what emulator I use, no matter what system, really, this occasionally happens. Uh, I feel like it's only for Game Boy. So, I don't know. Maybe I should be using an actual original Game Boy emulator, but I don't like the way they look as much as GBA emulators. I'm using MGBA in case anybody's curious. But, um, I haven't played the land games since. I feel like, you know, since I just let's played the country games, it would be... It wouldn't be as fun, because, you know, I'm very familiar with the mechanics. I'm pretty good at the mechanics ever since playing the console games. I thought it would be fun if I didn't do practice runs of the land game. So there you go. I didn't practice anything but the first two levels before this. Okay, obviously there's going to be a secret down here because of the arrow. They really made this level insanely easy to find secrets. This should have been the first water level. Jesus. So I was getting confused in those early ones. Oh, and of course they make us go through here without on guard. I don't think the Bounty Bass give you anything in this game, and I'm a little frustrated about it. Because... Mm. Alright, it's time. I said I was going to rank the six games. I'm going to do it. Now, obviously... Are you kidding me? Right at the end? Are you kidding me? Stupid bitch. Obviously, the console games come before uh, the others. No offense to the land games. It's just... You know, the country games are better. I think I'm going to go Country 3, Country 2, Country 1. Which I know is controversial, but I went over this in my Country 3 Let's Play. And 
you know, it took me forever to decide, and I'm still, like, not completely sure about it. There's not a satisfying way to rank them, because it could go any way. That's what I love about the series. And Land, honestly, no matter what, I feel like Land 2... No, I was going to say Land 2's in the middle, but it's the same as the Country Trilogy. You can flip-flop it. I'm undecided. All right, sorry about that, folks. I had my third cat interruption, and then I had a very fun phone call where my car is finally ready, and I can go get it back, and I'm very happy about it. Oh, no, we already did this. This is what happens when you pause. All right, I'm going to finish my conversation about ranking the games. Land 1 is the most original, and I think the one I'm most likely to replay but in terms of actual game quality, Land 2 and 3 are better. Oh my god. <laughs> they just get better as they go on. I'll meet you back. I'll save you the trouble. Uh, I'm not sh Yeah, okay. This is where the bonus is. Perfect. Oh. I was like, and we get to play more with Onguard since we didn't lose him in the bonus room. But we don't, and that's okay. But, objectively, Land 2 and 3 are better games, but Land 1 is just more unique and interesting. It's got Hogwash the Flying Pig in it! I mean, what more could you ask for? The music's more original, the levels, like, they're sky levels. You don't see those again in the rest of the game, so... I'm gonna have to give an edge to... Land 1. I think Land 3 is gonna be the bottom. And Land 2 is going to be the middle. And Land 1 is going to be uh, the top. Out of the Land Trilogy, at least. Now, there's obviously more Donkey Kong platformers in the future. And I still think I would rank Land 3 above the arcade original Donkey Kongs, maybe? I don't know. They're such classics. It's hard to objectively rank those on the spot. And obviously, Junior Math would be at the bottom. And... Land 3 is worse than 1 and Junior, but I still love Donkey Kong 3, so this is just a testament to how great this series truly is, and I'm very happy about it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, hilarious, Wrinkly. Thank you for your dementia. Uh, you know, dementia is very sad. You get to... Like, you can't help but laugh at some of the, the things they repeat or th things that they think, but, you know, you still feel badly, and it's still a sad situation. I would know. My grandmother had dementia, and the last time I saw her, she kept asking me if I like to play golf or if I've ever played golf over and over and over and over, and, you know, it's like a bittersweet joke? I wouldn't call it a joke. But it's something you can laugh about because the context is funny. Or no, the context isn't funny, but it itself is a little funny. But the whole thing is sad because the last thing she ever asked me when I walked out the door was, Do you ever play golf? And uh, next time I'll talk about how I ran a car into a boulder. I'm LP Master 6!